Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633 and today I'm bringing a review of the first of the Toys R Us exclusive Legend Ranger key packs. Now, this pack being the Alien Rangers finishes off the rest of the Alien Rangers uh, in the American Band of America Ranger Key toy line. Now, I'm actually really surprised after all the long waiting for new keys to show up and all the, well, kind of vague information about the keys coming up within the last couple months. It was a bit skeptical if these keys were ever going to show up. Now it's cool that Band of America actually went ahead and pretty much followed up on what they were saying at the previous conventions and various other places. And now we got the first eight key sets for uh, pretty much pack B of the Fallen Rangers which I'll continue with the rest of the week and so on. So, let's take a look at the box itself. Now, the front is the only thing different about these sets. Everything on the back is exactly the same on all the sets. It doesn't even show the new keys. These are all the older ways. So, they pretty much just use the same backing, but they change the front. Now, here, obviously, you can see Ninja Man or Ninja in Power Rangers uh, Alien Rangers. It says your legendary unique pack. Uh, the Alien Ranger symbol and all new Toys R Us exclusive on the side there. So... To show up what keys comes in this pack, we have Alien Yellow, Alien White, and obviously the Ninja Key, which is pretty cool that I finally got able to, to get a hold of one of these since the original one was in that exclusive pack and it went for really high amounts of money. So it's cool to finally get a set. And just like with the previous Alien Rangers, unfortunately all these keys say is Mighty Morphin. So let's just quickly go over them. We have Alien Yellow. And we have Alien White. And then even the Ninja Key will continue to say Mighty Morphin. Now unlike the other sets, for I should have said the other Alien Rangers, I kind of see more Ninja towards the Mighty Morphin Key just because he did originally show up in Season 3 of MPR right before the Alien Ranger arc. So even though the footage is from Cock Ranger, Technically, he is more of a Mighty Morphin kind of character rather than Alien Rangers alone. So, I could see why he would say actually say Alien, I mean, Mighty Morphin said Alien. Now, I don't have any of the other keys. Like, I never actually got the any of the other Cocker Rangers to do a comparison. But now I'll just take a look at the keys in their key mode. We have yellow, white. And then, obviously, Ninja War. So, I really like the design of these keys. Now, bring the Alien Rangers from the previous pack, which contained red, black, and blue. We now have the complete set of Alien Rangers within these two key packs. So, that's awesome that we finally get yet another complete team to go into the Band of America Ranger Key Collection. Let's see if we can get these... Standing up. And then I'll be back to show you a uh, so close-up. see here, these. it's really great that we finally got another complete set since I think an entirety of all the sets, I think we only got about six to eight sets. I don't remember the right number off the top of my head, but that's all we got to in this set and the next set that's supposed to be coming out. And that's a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, we only got like about 20 to 25 keys max to go, which includes the extra rangers, and obviously not including spear rangers, taking him and any other stuff, but it is pretty cool I will finally get all the alien ranger keys, so it's nice to finally have a complete set since I never went ahead and got all the Japan, the Japan ones, since so it didn't really feel like a need getting every single key since they were not in ranger key packs. Now, if they were ranger key packs in Japan, well, that's what I actually commend Band of America for, since even though they split it within several key packs, at least they've made it away so that you wouldn't have to go to like the way of Gashapunk, Handy Toy and all that, and the supposed blind bag rumors. So that's good that we finally got all the keys together in a way that you can get all the keys easily just within two packs alone. So that's pretty cool, and I really commend Band of America for doing that. Now, between this, uh, all the keys vary between stores, since there are Toys R Us exclusive. It depends on the location of your store. I got these for around $7.99 a piece, but some stores actually raised them for around 10 bucks if 
what I'm hearing correctly, which is a bit of a problem. Personally, I don't really feel like that's really worth that much for just three keys for $10. $8 is a little bit more reasonable, but $10, not so much. But if you do happen to find these keys, and if you happen to have the first set, then I definitely recommend it, possibly just for the Ninja Key alone. Anyways, please, kindly subscribe, check out Hirotaku and the other associated podcasts in Rajinyon, WRW, Hirotaku and Hero News, and our city YouTube. Bye.